Let's take a look now at adding and subtracting fractions. Well, the first example is really easy. Two sevenths plus four sevenths is six sevenths. Two plus four is six, no problem. But two fifths plus one third is a problem because the bottom numbers are not the same. You can only add up fractions if the bottom numbers are the same. So what we need to do is to change the bottom numbers so that they do become the same. So what we're looking for is the smallest number that five and three goes into. So let's take the bigger of the two numbers, which is five. Does three go into five? No. Let's go through the five times table. 10, does three go into 10? Nope. What about 15? Yes, three does go into 15. So I'm gonna convert both of these fractions into 15. So two fifths is the equivalent to how many 15 and one third is the equivalent to how many 15 So equivalent fractions now, so five to a 15 times three, so times the top by three, six 15 three times five is 15, so times the top by five as well, five 15 two fifths is the equivalent to six 15 and a third is the same as five 15 So the question is now six 15 plus five 15 six plus five is 11. So the answer is 11 15 same problem in the next question, seven and two, two different bottom numbers. So does two go into seven? No, it doesn't. What about 14? Yes, 14 can be divided by both seven and two. So 14 is the smallest number that is in the seven and the two times table. So three sevenths equals what out of 14 and one half equals what out of 14? Well, to go from a seven to a 14, you're just doubling. So double the top, that's six fourteenths. 2 times 7 is 14, so times the top by 7, 7 fourteenths. So the question is now 6 fourteenths plus 7 fourteenths, so the answer is 13 fourteenths. With this final example, we have two different bottom numbers, so we can't add them at the moment. So again, let's have a look at the uh, bigger of the two numbers, which is the 9. Does 3 go into 9? It does. Now, that means we don't need to change two ninths. If we can convert thirds into ninths, then we're pretty much done. So one third into ninths, well, three times three is nine, so times the top by three. Two ninths is two ninths, so we don't need to change that one, so it's simply three ninths plus two ninths, which equals five ninths. So this final one is actually much easier than the others because we only need to fiddle the fraction on the left because we can convert it into ninths. Same with subtraction, four sevenths minus two sevenths is dead easy, four take away two is two, the answer is two sevenths. Four fifths minus a quarter we can't do because the bottom numbers are different. So what's the smallest number that can be divided by five and four? Well, let's go through the times table of the larger until we find a number that can be divided by four. Five, no, 10, no, 15, no, 20. Yes, 20 can be divided by four. So four fifths is the same as how many twentieths and one quarter is the same as how many twentieths. Well, five times by four gives us the 20. So multiply the top by four is 16. 4 multiplied by 5 gives us a 20, so multiply the top by 5 as well, 5 twentieths. So the question is basically 16 twentieths minus 5 twentieths, and the answer is 11 twentieths. Sevenths and thirds, we are going to have to convert both into a fraction out of 21. 21 is the lowest number that can be divided by both 7 and 3. 7 to a 21 you're timesing by three, so times the top by three is 18. One third into a fraction out of 21, you're multiplying by seven. So times the top by seven is seven tw over 21. So the question is now 18 over 21, take away seven over 21, and the answer is 11 over 21. And in the final example, which is a bit easier, we can convert quarters into eighths. So we can leave the eighths alone, fours go into eight. So one quarter, that is the same as two eighths. So the question is simply seven eighths, take away two eighths, which is five eighths. So nice and easy that one there, because one fraction can be simply converted into a fraction which has the same bottom number as the, as the other fraction there.